Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'll be making butter prawns. This is a favorite dish to be ordered at Chinese restaurants. And did you know it is so simple to make at home? Let me show you. First, you'll need to marinate the prawns. The ingredients that you'll need are 2 tablespoons of flour, half a teaspoon of salt, and 15 prawns. Please make sure you clean the prawns first and then to marinate, add in the flour first, 2 tablespoons. Then I'll add in half a teaspoon of salt. Make sure not too much because we don't want it to be too salty. And then just mix it together. Leave it to marinate for about 10 minutes, then we can start frying the prawns. Be sure to add in sufficient oil for deep frying. Once the oil is hot, you can start adding in the prawns. Add in as many prawns as possible into your pot. For this, I'm using a small pot so I can add in 3 at a time. Make sure to fry it on both sides. Once you see it's fried well, then you can take it out and repeat the same for the rest of the prawns. Next is making the egg mixture. Ingredients you'll need are 7 large egg yolks and also 2 tablespoons of evaporated milk. I've separated the egg yolk already, now I'm adding in the evaporated milk. 2 tablespoons, sorry you're a little messy. <laughs> right, then just give it a stir. And now for the best part, let's start cooking. The ingredients that you'll need are fried marinated prawns from step 1, egg mixture from step 2, 100 grams butter, 3 bird eye sliced chilli, also known as chilli paddy, 2 sprigs of curry leaves, 3 cloves of garlic chopped finely, and also half a cup of cooking oil. Alright, so first add in the oil, half a cup I'm using. Then we can add in butter, 100 grams, we don't want to add in too much butter because we want it to be nice and fluffy. Then you add in your egg mixture. So one important point to note is that to continuously stir in a circular motion while adding in your egg mixture, it is important not to stop stirring because we want the floss to form. So repeat the same, slowly add in the egg mixture. Once done, you can start adding in curry leaves inside. Make sure to continuously stir while adding in all the ingredients. Then I'll add in the chilli. This can be a bit of an arm work for your right hand or left hand if you're left handed. But you need to make sure to continuously stir it. Then add in salt. And also add in your garlic at this point. Continuously stir it. So now, once you've stirred everything, it'll the floss has already formed. So what we're going to do is to strain it. Strain the entire mixture. You don't want it to be wet. You want it to be have a nice dry floss. The straining process is a little long, so I'll show you the final product. So, this is how it's gonna look once you've added in the dried floss on top of the fried prawns. Trust me, it not only looks good, it tastes good. Thanks for watching!